Hey there, folks. Stephen Thorne here. So we were asked to share some stories about some offstage shenanigans or secrets or something, a word that started perhaps with S. Uh, and the first thing that came to mind for me um, was during our production of House and Garden, which is actually two plays written by Alan Akeborn performed at the same time in the same building. So you need to have a building with two theaters, which fortunately Trinity Rep has. So we did the show X number of years ago. I don't, they all blend together now. It's one giant play that I live in. Um, so we were doing House and Garden, and we had all these crazy contingency plans in place because basically if you were in the play upstairs in the chase in House, and then you said to the person you were doing your scene with, well, I've got to go out to the garden, you would leave the theater, run down the lobby, run down the stairs, run by Sean, wave hello, and run into the Dowling and then go do a scene in that play. And then you would finish that scene and then run back up stairs and go back to house, literally. So it was completely crazy. It was a delight to do. Our company was amazing and Brian McElhinney directed it. So it was excellent. Um, so we had all the, like I said, we had all these plans in place about, oh, what happens if so-and-so doesn't make an entrance, or this happens, or the timing gets off, or one audience is laughing more than the other audience. How do we, you know, keep it all together? So we had a stage manager for each show. We had an Uber stage manager named Chris Borg, who sat in the paint shop with this array of screens that looked like what you would see in one of those hacker movies where the people have the 25 screens. Um, and we had all these plans in place. And we opened the show. Everything went well. It kept going well, kept going well through the entire run. We were amazed with ourselves. We were so pleased. Um, late in the run, during the play House upstairs, I was doing a scene with Fred Sullivan Jr. Uh, it was pretty early in the play. And we were getting to the end of our scene. And like I said, we were late in the run. So we were feeling very confident. We were in a good rhythm. And Fred was saying one of his lines, and I can't remember any of the text, but he was speaking, and suddenly he just started going like this. Literally, he started talking like he was underwater or had been hit by a slow-motion ray of some sort. So I looked over to him, and the only thought I had was something's wrong with Fred. Something's happened. Why is he doing this? What's going on? And it felt like about 40 years, but it was probably about 20 seconds. And as I listened to him continue on and kind of vamp and hem and haw and talk very slow, I realized we had put in place this backup, 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 backup plan that if someone was not going to make an entrance, the person in the booth was going to turn on what we called the red devil eye lights. So they were these two, I don't even know if it was two or one, but now... In this telling of it, there were two eyes, two red eyes, these red lights up in the uh, stage manager's booth that basically said, you're on your own, something's happened, just vamp. <laughs> so for whatever reason, these red uh, lights had gone on because the timing was off on, on the two shows and Fred was vamping. And I, I consider myself very fortunate to have been on stage with Fred because if anybody can vamp, it's Fred. But there he was talking very slowly and my mind was racing trying to remember, well, what was our plan? We have to, we had to improvise something. And I remember it involved me breaking down and hugging him. So I just basically went over and hugged him as hard as I could and began to sweat profusely, just crossing my fingers and praying to God that, that the actor was going to show up. And this went on, like I said, for what felt like 40 years, it was probably about 45 seconds. Um, but eventually the other actor did come on and uh, we were able to continue on with the play. But it was a thrilling, unpredictable moment uh, in Trinity Rep lore when the red devil eyes came on and <laughs> we were underwater for about a minute of the play. Uh, that's my story. I miss being at the theater. I miss all of you. And I look forward to being back there, hopefully, much sooner than later. Take care. Be safe.